Hi Earthlings! I read an article this week and I feel like it's really important for me to sit here, make a video and talk about it because it drove me to ask myself things that I haven't in a while and it really stuck with me. And it got me wondering, what's on your bucket list? What are the things that drive you to get out of bed in the morning? And tell me with your heart, are you fulfilling your purpose in life? Are you living in alignment to how you want to be living? Because I personally know the feeling you get when you're not. Today I want to challenge you to get out a pen and paper and make a bucket list. Write down all the things that you always wanted to accomplish. Write down everything. Languages and instruments you always wanted to be fluent in. It can be something nebulous, but also things that you will look back on in your life. And it'll make you feel like you lived a life you truly wanted. Make it ridiculous. Make it outrageous. Make it from the depths of your heart. Because in my opinion, what are you doing with your life if it's not something that fulfills you? What's your game plan? Now, invariably, the last one on the list for all of us is to die. But what's number one to number death? What makes it significant for you? I read this memoir of this hospice worker and um, the title was the top five regrets of the dying. And she pretty much went around and asked a whole bunch of her hospice patients. And the number one regret that she noted was, I wish I had the courage to live a life true to myself and not the life that others expected of me. I, I can't express how much I can relate to this. Now, I sit here and think, why do we have to wait until the end of our life to find out who we are? We all have our artistry and our passion, and you can't feel selfish for wanting to do something that makes you happy. We're all in the pursuit of happiness. And if you do something that fulfills you, it inspires others to do the same. Art inspires art. What is your art? Last year, I wrote my first bucket list and I started writing short term and worked my way down to long term. And when I was done, I stared at it and I realized that I held back a lot of things, either because it was too late or something that I would never accomplish in a million years or something waiting for me like when I retire or something. By preceding my great epiphany, I realized that this wasn't something that would fulfill me, not entirely. And I asked myself, why couldn't I do this right now? Or why did I, why is it waiting for me when I retire? Or why can't I accomplish it in a million years? Why did I hold out? Fear. It was fear. Now, close your eyes for a second and catch a glimpse of the life that you would be living if you just completely let go of fear. After all, how do you think the people that are living the lives that they want do it? Ask yourself, do you really think that they're living in fear? Holding back? Persevere, develop a deep sense of self and, and finally awaken to the preciousness of time. Life is waiting for you on the other side of fear. And I mean, don't, don't detach yourself from your purpose. I know there's a pending existential question that comes along with all of that, which is, but what do I want to do in life? But Maybe a better question is, who am I being in life? Because when you focus on your being, who you are and what you're doing, it'll help you figure out if that's who you wanna be and if that's 
what you want to contribute to the world. So maybe it's time to ask yourself that question. Freedom comes with responsibility. And I hope you have the courage to let go of fear because every single moment is a moment to start living the life that you truly want. This is my moment. And I hope you join me in this journey.